Guys, how we doing? We had a lot of fun recently in a video all about 10 hidden things found on your tractor. Well, through the course of that video, it was, you know, perhaps shared with me and some things I did forget about five other things that are also hidden on your tractor. We're going to tackle those today. Oh, and also one thing that I didn't explain that well from that video, we're going to cover that too, give you a little bit more clarity on what that is. So if you like what you see, consider hitting that subscribe button below. Of course, I'd love to sell you something. If you go to my Amazon store through the link in the description, you know, you're gonna sell it or buy it right through Amazon. I just get a small commission. Otherwise, go to goodworkstractors.com. If you see an attachment, you see a tractor on there that you like, I can help you with that purchase. I can help with delivery and financing too. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do guys is clear up that little bit of confusion that perhaps I created in that video, 10 hidden things on your tractor. And we're gonna be talking about the three point float function that can be found on your tractor and as we know there's no uh, no pressure going up like this okay it's going to naturally float this way and so this feature again not found on all tractors but found on some tractors is going to give you more of an independent type of float that you can experience and so what this is going to be good for is allowing each side to independently um, tilt okay and so that's good if you have a finish mower for example that's following the contour of the ground and one side is it's it's different this side side to side okay so if you have you know your three-point hitch in that float position this way and say it's up higher on this side it's going to give uh, the finish mower room flexibility here to go up and prevent that torque or that twisting motion that could otherwise damage something on your your tractor or your implement so again, that is the clarification I wanted to make. It's not just uh, having them go up already together like this. It's giving an independent control to go side to side and give that additional dynamic of float there to help prevent damage to your equipment. All right, guys. So one of the other features here actually found on the loader joystick, me being a knucklehead, I forgot all about it. But uh, what it's actually going to be is there's a second position to dump your bucket. Okay. And I'll show you what it is here, but I want to show you on the joystick first. So you push it this way, you know, you, get, you got that hard stop you can feel right there, okay? But guess what happens? You can go beyond that, just like that, all right? And it doesn't stay locked there. It doesn't stay locked like this float position did, okay? That would stay locked in that position, but here is your dump, here's your fast dump, okay? And so you'll see what it means. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and show you. Hey, okay, really quick, I am gonna show you this, but I tell you, I get emails, I get phone calls on things like this all the time, okay? So you see this control here, it's for an electric grapple, no additional hydraulics required. Look in my video history, okay? I did a no hydraulics required video, two different options. This is an electric grapple control right here for it. Mirror, you can get these mirrors right in my Amazon store, very easy. You see that tooth bar there on the tractor as well. Get that from Heavy Hitch, get yourself 5% off. See this chipper back here? I sell those too, guys, okay? Go to goodworkstractors.com. If you have any questions about it, email me, text me, whatever. Send me a Facebook message, but here we go. Slow. Woo. Let's go fast. Okay, another loader related feature right here that I tell you the Kubota guys love to bash John Deere for, and it's just not true. Okay, so you can do two functions at one time with a John Deere loader. It is a very small sweet spot, I'm not gonna deny that, and it's easy to do on certain models and other models, but it's totally a possibility to do this on John Deere tractors. And you know what? This is the H120 loader manual, okay, for the previous generation of 1025R. I got the 120R here, but I got the actual manual right here for the H120. And I wanted to show you guys something here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip to this page right here. That way you can see it. And I'm hoping that you can see this right here, but it says this note right here. If two loader functions are activated simultaneously and tractor oil flow is limited, the operation that requires the least hydraulic force moves first. Now, why would they go ahead and put a note like that in the manual if you couldn't do two functions at one time? I'm just saying, guys, it's a nice feature. Check your tractor to see if you can do it. And I'm not saying that it's not gonna take some practice, okay? Because it is a very small sweet spot. You know, it doesn't just come naturally to you. And I can say the same thing about some of those Kubota loaders. It's not that natural of an operation either. Some are better than others. I'm not hating on Kubota. I'm not hating on John Deere. It's just the reality, folks. You can do it with either one. I show it right here with the John Deere 1025R. 
Guys, next one up here are gonna be some, well, I mean, they're sorta of hidden, I guess, you know, but you have different locations for your pins when you don't need them or when you're swapping attachments. Now, this could be said on the front end loader, and it could also be said on the three-point hitch. It could even be said for shear bolts, shear pins on some of your attachments like snow blowers, for instance. So right here on this John Deere loader, and a lot of John Deere loaders are gonna have this. You're gonna see this little location right here. Easy enough just to store that pin. That way it's disconnected right here. You can go ahead, take the bucket off, put your pallet forks on, your snow pusher, your grapple. Oh wait, I sell all those too, just in case you need one. And then once you have your new attachment on, very easy just to put that sucker right back in there and away you go. Guys, pay attention because you're also going to see that same type of pin location found oftentimes on your three-point hitch. So a little something like this that's just welded on there. So, you know, say you don't have a quick hitch on here and you're just disconnecting and, and reconnecting different attachments. You've got a nice little storage location. I know some Kubotas and some other ones have that as well. So take a look for that. Could be anywhere on here, but a nice little bonus feature that's on there. Convenient storage location for you. And believe it or not, guys, these right here are not actually critical to holding any of the construction of the snowblower together. These are actually just extra shear pins, shear bolts for your snowblower in case you need them. You even have an extra spot there. Looks like potentially an extra spot there as well. Don't know why that one's off center like that. Maybe it's potentially used for something different. So pay attention on your equipment. Lots of them have little locations like this just for shear bolts, shear pins like that as well. And you guys with the factory cabs, at least on the John Deere's like this 4066R, yes, we'll go ahead and say it's hidden, but right here, hard to read, it says hitch pins with a couple of arrows. These guys right here, go ahead and store them in there. You know, I'm telling you, what are they going to think of next? You know, your tractor wheels are actually probably more versatile than you even thought. And I'm using these dualies as an example because what I had to do in order to have the dualies installed on here was actually take the inside, the regular tire that was already mounted on here with the, with the rim, put the one that was on this side over there and that one over here, okay? And so there's an inner and outer position of that rim. If you imagine the rim, that the, the inside of it that's down in here is not perfectly centered. It's going to be offset, which gives you more flexibility to be able to have a, uh, a narrower or a wider stance of your tractor. Not every single tractor is created like that. However, a lot of them are. And so look in your manual or look at your tires and your, or your wheels even because you can even take an eyeball look at them and tell. And to answer a question for some folks that were curious, this does have a backhoe frame on it. It's a 2018, has a backhoe on it. It's not on there right now, but the frame is still underneath here. Um, this inner position does still work with a backhoe frame on there. I know some are concerned about interference. However, I will say, if you put chains on here, it'd be pretty darn tight. Okay, so those of you guys that have fourth and fifth functions on your tractors, a lot of these are actually going to have a float function on either the fourth or the fifth. And some will also have a continuous flow function. And so I've done a video specifically on, uh, I think it was a 4044M that had uh, float and continuous flow on the fourth and fifth functions. So right here, what I do want to show you is going to be the float function on your fourth remote. And so I have got this hooked up right now to the top cylinder there, okay? So that hydraulic top link, sorry, hard to see. But uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and just move the, the, the fourth function back and forth. And you can see it angles one way, that cylinder extends there, angles back the other way, okay? So that's being done hydraulically, okay? So I'm going to retract it the whole way. And now I'm going to push this and then I'm going to go quickly back to pan back. I'm going to push this all the way up and lock it in that float function and you'll see what happens. You can see it's just slowly going out right there. And then I'm going to lower that three point hitch down. And you can see there it's just kind of gradually adjusting as the weight allows it to. So it gives you more flexibility there if you do have that function and say you have a land plane on like what you see here. Just another way to open up versatility on your tractor in a way that you might not otherwise realize. <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. Perhaps some more things you didn't know about your tractor. Again, not every tractor is going to have this stuff, but I'd still love to hear more things that perhaps are not the most obvious things. Yeah, of course, a lot of the stuff is in the manual, but who reads those, right? So anyway, thanks for joining. Again, as always, hit that subscribe button below. Check the description as well, okay? Links to the Amazon store for the cool tractor accessories there. Or go to goodworkstractors.com. Again, love to help you with a tractor and attachment. Put together a whole package for you, help with delivery and financing too. So until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.